grows dark and you hear the thunder and you're standing up, said I run it for cover. beautiful friends welcome back to my channel it's Marita here and for today's video we're gonna learn some really nice trick how about rainbow how about trees how about a little painting that could be everyday painting at the same time a Christmas one let's try that I promise you it is such a fun video I've tried it off camera uh, to just see how I'm gonna do and to be honest I'm speechless the results are amazing on the bottom we're putting a little bit of water as you can see in the motion left to right left to right kind of wetting our actual page and then with really nice brush that has a tip and has a finish like a pointy pointy tip we have to use it for our trees uh, that would be the best but again try what you have I'm adding quite a number of water to my watercolor gouaches you can use your watercolors any watercolors you only have let's start from which color how the rainbow goes kind of let's start from this delicate one a little you can't see no you can't see of course you can't see <laughs> I'm starting from this one and oh, back to you I have my paint my bright paint here and I'm gonna just go with the line and hopefully this will start to run down and in the shape of the actual tree we're gonna try to kind of paint a beautiful woods I guess <laughs> we can say wintery uh, actually wintery um, and what's the word uh, rainbowy woods next color how about this one and we can mix them both a little bit anyway and this will be going how about a little bit he like here so it's slightly darker not that much dark but slightly darker so it will difference differentiate the two colors but kind of happy with each other I think now a little bit more water I think so that the pigment will go even more oh there we go maybe something like that super next one will be which one we're gonna go for hmm maybe this pink ish this pinky delicate peachy pinkish as well mm -hmm. so going and trying to get the actual movement of water happening you can always go back if you don't feel like your tree has a proper shape that's okay look I think every tree I make is literally different to the previous one and you know what I'm okay with that I'm really okay with that because look we're just here to learn again if you are more into professional watercolors I'm not a professional whatsoever so I encourage you to check videos of those who are really um, you know in the zone of being amazing at it I'm not so much <laughs> I'm trying I'm learning every day as you can see even to masterpiece my trees but I saw this technique uh, I've used this technique before as well with a different coloring uh, and I just think it's so beautiful so why not to actually use it I think I really like that even if it's not so perfect but maybe the fact that it's not so perfect will actually encourage you to try I would love that if possible 
So now the purple one. How about a little bit of purple one? Uh huh. And maybe like this, and going to. I'm just tapping, tapping. But I think you can do lines. You can do however you feel. You know, however it feels to you. To be honest, everyone is different, and we all have different sort of feelings towards art. So that's okay. Now, how about a little bit of diff this one? Maybe a little bit of water, and also a little bit of water more here since our wetness is there let's have that happening <coughs> and how about there we go beautiful color I'm probably really bad now with the rainbow isn't it I'm sure Emily when she sees it she's like mom it's not the exact order <laughs> She loves rainbow orders. She puts her paints into rainbow orders and I completely understand people. Some people just love it this way and that's super. But I'm just like, you know, <laughs> trying to enjoy the way as I just see colors. I just kind of trying to make them happy with each other. So however that is. Now, um, I think I'm losing my tip slowly. I think this one will be a little bit higher. So. There we go, maybe a little bit faster do I go and less smart a precision in those trees of yours. So here it is, there we go, maybe dum dum dum. I love it, I really love how it's coming together. I'm sure I can improve next time, but there's always next time. And that is the beauty of art, you can always try it once more and that's fabulous. Oh I love that, love that delicate and all, very pretty. So what's next to this one? That would be interesting which one we're gonna choose. How about the brown one? <laughs> How about going... I wish to jump in into some sort of maybe this red but from red to, to what? To... <laughs> I'm not too sure. Maybe this one actually, purple. How about a little bit of purple? It's a different purple to, to the other one. Mm -hmm. I could be better with that color scheme. <laughs> oh well, Marta, that's fine. I really hope you will check the other videos because we have made so many this year. So many amazing, beautiful videos. Watercolor that, yeah, I, I think it would be lovely if you could check them out. It would be so amazing, for sure. I really wish to use the blue, so maybe this... Oops, that's a bit too much, I think. <clears throat> mm -hmm, maybe. How about this blue? Oh, I need to add some water in here, I think. There we go. A little bit of blue, maybe a little bit smaller. Yeah, I think it will match, actually, the, uh, the, the tree next, next to it. Why not? <clears throat> I promise you, it's a very satisfying process. So you must try it out. There we go. Super. Maybe a little bit more paint there. Super, I like that. And now I really wish to jump in for this color, which is what? Like, not necessarily blue, not necessarily teal. It's, I call it dirty teal-ish kind of color, which I truly love. <clears throat> so I really think this could be my color, actually color favorite of all. I think it's very similar to speckled egg of Tim Holtz. I didn't try it yet, but I think I see a tint of it there, so I have to have a look. I bought it, but I didn't try it yet. And when it arrived, I was like, oh, oh, that looks really to my liking, actually. I thought it's more blue into blue, but no. I think I'm gonna make this tree even higher because of the how, how thick um, and how yeah, super. Wow, I love it. Now, as you can tell, <laughs> even those, even though I'm not professional, I still feel it's pretty good looking to me. I'm going to dry this and make a stamp uh, like Merry Christmas or something. It'll be love. I'm back to you and I have this Merry Christmas stamp that tons of you have been asking me about I can't remember where I got it from so please if any of you know the name of the and the brand of this stamp it's a this it's this set 
I have no idea. I purchased it a good few years ago. I, I just don't remember it. So if any of you have this stamp and you know the name, please leave us a comment. Please. And look at that. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I love it. Do you know what? I think what I like the best is that the underneath layer didn't overcome with the color the top layer because i be honest, I made a trial have a look <laughs> and I felt that like too much of this was happening for me like it looked beautiful in terms of movement of color but I felt that it's a little too much that it's actually overtaking the top part and I felt that it's a little too much so when I was trying to make a project now with you I was really cautious about not too much color so we can have this little mist here but also a beautiful trees that are E easily e visible so I really hope you liked it and enjoyed it guys please 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 try it for yourself I promise you you will love it enjoy it and have tons of fun it's a, such a pretty pretty little project I'm gonna finish it that thank you so very much I love you but I have to go till the next time happy crafting and I'll chat to you very soon bye